You right guys, I'll be all doing. Welcome back to Peninsula Paint and Projects. Don't forget, we have Peninsula Hobby and Chill on Facebook, so go and join that. Let us know how you're getting on with your hobbying. And in today's video, we're gonna have a little look at the Warhammer Conquest, oops, it's all fallen out. Warhammer Conquest, issue eight. Now, my good old friend, my good old friend, Black Country Wargamer, said on Facebook last night that he believes the, the, the model, well, this model in this set is not the same quality as the models from the previous issues and the models in, like, for example, the Dark Imperium set. So we're going to have a little look at this, see if what's going on there. Are they, are they producing worse casts for this magazine on the cheap? Or maybe maybe Black Country War Gamers received a really poorly quality cast. I don't know, we, but we will find out. I'm maybe guessing that because Black Country War Gamer, no offense to you, man, but because you dipped out of the hobby for a couple of years, well, meaning as in Warhammer 40k, you've dipped out of Citadel's products for the past couple of years. You may not be familiar with how. They, they they operate now, I don't know. I know you've bought some of the models in the past, but looking at this sprue right now, I can see there are little flimsy parts on it which look like they could break. But apart from that, it, it does seem okay. So I don't know whether you've received one that's been damaged in the post. I don't know whether the elements have got to it. I don't know. But we're going to have a little look at this. Let me know in the comment section if you've purchased this magazine and you're experiencing any issues with the models. Now I can see something that's a little bit concerning on my sprue. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. Nice one guys, see you in a minute. Draw. So guys, before we open up the magazine, let's have a little look at the miniature. Now we get them on. Is this a 32mm base or is this a 40 I'm not quite sure, but this is the character base. It's a Games Workshop base, whoop de doom But this model retails at RRP of £22.50 if you buy it directly from Games Workshop. Now we're buying this for £7.99. So we are actually saving £14.51. I think that's bloody fantastic. I'm actually gonna go out, if the quality seems good, um, and not what you know other people have been saying, but if this quality seems good, I'm gonna go out and actually wanna buy maybe two more. One for a generic librarian. I'm gonna paint them up in those exact color scheme. The second one will go into my Space Wolves army because the Space Wolves, well, they're Rune Priests, they are the same color as the Space Wolves army, which obviously similar to this. Well, that's my scheme anyway. And then the third one will go into my secret project, which I'm not going to um, divulge at this moment. But anyway, that's my thing. So basically for the cost of um, four, you're pretty much getting... Well, yeah, for the cost of four, buying four of these, you're paying it for the full price pretty much. So anyway, let's have a look at the sprues. So it comes on two sprues. I believe this is how you buy it in Games Workshop. You don't get it in any box. It just comes, you know, within this flying around like that. Which comes to my next thing I want to point out. Look at that. That has obviously occurred maybe during transportation. I don't know. But this model is a highly detailed model. In fact, let's put the camera a little bit over like that so we can get the light in. So this is a highly detailed model, as you can see. We've got the cape and the psychic hood, the two legs, the front chest piece there with another robe. And I think that's the other half that connects to there. I'm not too sure what that is. Oh, let's get it on camera for start. I'm not too sure what that is. But it's a, it's a, I, I like this model. I think it's a bloody lovely model, to be fair. So that's sprue one, and sprue two comes with, I'm gonna have to remove this back up because I can't see it, sorry. Sprue two comes 
Blue 2 comes with his Force Sword, which Psychics in the Astro Militarum, no, not Astro Militarum, Adeptus Astartes, the yeah. Al. They have the Force Sword. He's got the hand there, can you see that? The magical hand. He's got a generic shoulder pauldron or shoulder pad. He's got the arm connecting to that hand. Some purity seals. These cables. Um, Carl was saying that when he assembled his miniature, the cables broke and these seemed really flimsy. He may be right. Or maybe he's heavy handed. Carl, it's all your fault. We've got the librarian shoulder pauldron with the little skull and the ram horns there type of thing. And something that's pretty cool, which people may not know, have known about, you get two different heads. We get the bear head, the man with the beard, and then we get the Primaris helmet with all the psychic shenanigans going on there. So like I said, I love this model. I think it's good. It doesn't seem to be poor quality to me. This seems to be the exact same as every other model in the Prime Mars collection. So let me know what you think, guys. I I think it looks fine, to be honest. On to the magazine. So in this magazine, we cover learning about librarians, which must be plural for librarians, painting a space marine librarian, and psychers join the battle which is pretty handy. Move all my stuff out of the way. We've got our Ian. Nice one, man. Thanks for signing that, even though I don't know who you are. We've got a bit of information here. Let me just reflect that light. Is that a bit better? I think it might be. We've got a bit of information here about the librarians, um, the designation, the rank, battlefield role, specialisms, and weaponry. Force weapon and a bolt pistol, ha! Huh? We have a bolt pistol. Let me have a little look. I can't see a bolt pistol on him. But if the rules say he has, he has, alright? Don't argue with me. That's why I tell my opponent anyway. Next page, we've got a bit of fluff here about the librarians. Which, you know, will always come in handy if you're new, if you're not new. If you want a little refresher taste, of course, you can always read this. Got some information on the force weapons here, which I think they're fantastic. Force weapons are rare, deadly, and only able and only able by psychers. They are usually stave swords or axes through other kinds. Oh, though other kinds do exist. Yeah, guys, I can't read on camera. Sorry about that. Psychers are able to power these weapons with their psychic might, increasing their strength of their blows to high levels. Wow, that's pretty cool. And then you've got a bit of information here about the psychic hoods, which uh, prevent you know, the opponents attacking the librarians with their psychic powers. Next page. Here's the other force weapons, like psychic rods and stuff. Yeah, the rod of Tigris, Ultimate Force Stave. The rank, can we see that? The rank of Librarius. It's just going on, now going on to a little bit of a story about a crusade, maybe. A strike cruiser in the warp. It's like a Dark Angels one. A bit of heretics there. Bit more information, Chaos Demons. How to build the Primaris Librarian. So don't forget guys, use the numbers. Just move this out of the way. Use the numbers and, follow, and just follow the instructions. It's pretty straightforward. I suppose that's a good thing about these um, monopose mi miniatures that Games Workshop are producing nowadays. They're really simple to put together. And they are highly detailed, to be honest. Let me have a little sip of my tea. My mouth's going really dry. Oh, pardon me. Uh, clipping instructions. Don't clip your fingers off, please. Building your librarian. 
and gluing him and such things. I don't think he is um, snap fit, so you will have to glue him. If you subscribed from day one, you would have got some glue for free, which is pretty fair enough. How to paint eye librarian. So it's pretty much similar to issues one and two and three. You know, you're just doing the black and, and, and the blue again. Then we've got the gold. I personally would be painting that in like a skull bone color, but obviously at this present moment in time, we don't have any bone colors. So I suppose you'd have to do that, wouldn't you? See, looking at this is, is looking, show me and maybe other people how detailed this model really actually is. I, it, it's unbelievable to be honest. And this is why I'm such a great fan of the Games Workshop products. Yes, they may be a bit more expensive than other model companies, but you know what? You can't argue with the fact that they do produce the best models in the industry. So I'm gonna paint the face here, which makes me believe, are we gonna get a flesh wash? I know I did mention that last week, but yeah. It's quite sad, isn't it, really, that I know life gets in the way and stuff, but by now, we should all have our armies up to date and painted. Because let's face it, is it that hard to quickly assemble him, paint him in the Ultramarine's Bloom, do the gold, Gilliman's gold, not Gilliman's gold, Retribute Armour, throw the Agrax Earthshade over that, do the silver. It's not that hard, but for some reason, life gets in the way of hobbying. Obviously, more important things occur, like I need to shoot straight to work. But it is quite sad and upsetting that we can't always fit in our hobby time. And next page, we've got the Psychic Might. So we're incorporating and introducing psychic powers into the game now. Bit unfair that though, isn't it, guys? Come on. What are Games Workshop and Hatchet thinking? The Chaos, I've got a couple of Chaos Plague Marines, which are pretty badass, you know. They also, you know, a few Pox Walkers. And now the Space Marines Force has now got a Psyker. A little bit unfair, in my opinion. Hopefully soon, we'll find out in the back what we get next week and the week after, but hopefully soon, the Chaos need a character. Because, let's face it, the Space Marines have now got two characters, and they've got zero. So we've got a little rules update, I'm presuming, yeah, the psychic phase. So they, I can't remember what the last previous ones, where they just had the move, shoot, charge and fight. But this is now telling you that the space being turned starts with the movement phase, then the psychic phase, then you're shooting, then you charge. Yeah, you charge into combat, then you fight, then it's the death guard phase. So, um, yeah, that's pretty interesting. It's good to you know, refresh your mind, refresh your memory on how the things work, the mechanics of the game, how you resolve psychic powers. And I'll be honest, in the past, I've never been one for having psychic psychers in my army. I've always thought they were a bit meh. I'd rather have other things. But since 8th edition has come along, my friend Danny, he always used psychers, and they are pretty good, to be honest. So I'm going to start incorporating them into my armies. Um, clear the deck, so I'm guessing this is the mission. Um, let's have a look. Um, yet more Death Guard Warriors burst into the honour of the Ultramarine Cargo deck, only to be confronted by a powerful Primaris Librarian, his four sword drawn and ready for battle. The Death Guard must eliminate the Librarian if they are to have any chance of winning the day. You know what? You know, you're right, yeah. I moan a lot. If you know me, if, you, if you're friends with me on Facebook, if you know me in real life, I'm a bloody big moaner. But one good thing about this, if you are collecting this weekly and you're new to the hobby, having this simple yet effective mission in this magazine will allow the, the individual to progress on and to learn. And I think that's, I think that's good. A lot of respect, respect, big ups to them. You know what I mean? Um, I think if anyone is collecting this and they are new, get yourselves down to Games Workshop on the Crusade Sundays. You basically go with 25 PowerPoints, which may be a little bit advanced for you at the moment because obviously you've not got a codex yet. But get down there. 
it's fantastic. I quite enjoy it. I sometimes go myself when I'm bored. My girlfriend works in, in my local city, take her there on the Sunday to, to work, and I actually go and play Warhammer with all the youngsters. And it's quite good fun, to be honest. And, and it's me, I can give back to them as well. I can, you know, help them learn the game. So, a little refresher again, a little replay of the actual rules. Subscribe to Conquest. That's completely up to you. I, mean, I am still getting a little bit annoyed because we're now in the second month and I've actually... Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. I bought this from my local news agents. Still haven't received it in the post. So... Um, and what do we get next? Some more pox walkers. Yes, it's quite annoying. So Death Guard aren't getting any more characters at this present moment. Let's get a little better picture of that. Better focus and zoom in and all that. We're not getting a character yet. But we're getting more pox walkers. And they can outnumber and weigh down the opponents, which is fairly good. So um, I suppose if you're not subscribed, you don't have to get it, do you really? But if you are subscribed, you're getting it. But in my opinion, I have got a Death Guard army. So I need as many of these as possible. And then, issue 10, the cute, oh, little baby, little cuteness, the Mythetic Blight Hauler. This is one of the coolest little miniatures I've seen in Warhammer 40k. Look at it. Look at that. I love them. I've already got one of them, which I did a painting tutorial, which I might try and link above if I remember. But yeah, I've done a painting tutorial on that. It was pretty nice to assemble. It is a snap fit model as well. So, you know, if that's what floats your boat, then it's pretty cool. So I am looking forward to this. I'm going to buy a couple, I think. Because I wouldn't mind fielding six of them. Two squads of three in my army. So guys, let me know what you think about this issue. I think this is well worth it for the money. Like I said, you're saving £14.51 by purchasing this. Rather than by purchasing the other one. The, 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 you know, the proper one from the shops. So guys, see you soon. And stay tuned. Might have something cool coming up in the future. And which may benefit the viewers and the subscribers. See you later.